Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one, the only, the Azathen, and we're here with something that took me all day to get put together, but I finally figured it out. I admit it was just me being stupid. I couldn't figure it out. I was, I was at a loss. I was confused. So I grabbed a glass of wine like this. Mm. And I took a drink and I said, what would a gentleman do? What would a gentleman, a scholar, even? Well, he'd probably go play a really old game that looks like it was drawn on a map. Welcome to Warcraft 2. It's one of the most amazing... I, I, I'm not going to say that because I haven't played it in forever. But I will tell you, it was the first video game I remember besides Worms. But it was the first full video game that I ever had on the computer that hadn't been my parents. You know, I'd played Duke Nukem 2 on my dad's computer. I'd had a little Sonic, uh, Cosmos Cosmic Adventure. Some Worms with my friend Spencer. But for the most part, it was full on... It was Warcraft 2. I got in so much trouble today I got it. Oh, I will tell you that story later. But for now, let's go ahead and start on where I would normally not start. But everyone thinks that I favor humans. I don't. I like the Horde. In fact, I really like the Horde in this one because they're so straightforward. I'm, like, you guys think me saying that they're the bad guys is a bad thing. I think it's awesome that they're the bad guys. Like, if they just kept them as the bad guys, I would be happy. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I have to read it. The Horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lordaeron. Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock Clan, has ordered you to establish a small outpost on the Lordaeron's southern shores. To secure the Zul'dare region as Doomhammer commands, you will need to construct a barracks and several farms to feed your troops. Your success may help us determine the extent of the pathetic human defenses and what resistance they can offer our forces. Oh! Oh, it's the worst thing to ever read out loud. I wish I hadn't done that. Oh. Oh, dear. I'm getting gassy. <laughs> this game is... Oh, this game is old! That's alright, we've got... I fixed everything, even, like... <laughs> I know you guys are like, oh, what's going on? The only thing I'm sad about, there's no such thing as control groups. Like, you just gotta, okay, build a peasant, and then it'll make, it'll be built. Oh, God. You gotta select them every time. There's no, there's no control groups. Okay, no, we're not gonna focus on that. What we're gonna focus on are these stupid human punks in our forest. Look at this. He thinks he's gonna win? Oh, get him. Everyone fight him. Oh, goodness. It's fine. Everyone's gonna be okay. Stupid human. Can't stand up. Like, yeah, making the orcs do the old Jewish mother voice. Like, oh, he... Alright, we gotta, we gotta be careful. Oh, there's an elven here. We gotta make sure the wounded one doesn't get taken out. Oh, he wants it. Too late, you foolish human mortal. My, <laughs> my greens. Zag, zag. I'm not wrong. Okay, and a human. Look at this, they'll, they'll fight them if they're next to them, but like, he's like, oh, I'm not gonna walk around, Frank. Frank's kinda fat. Frank's been eating a lot at the pig farm lately, if you know what I mean. Look at this lazy peon, he just got made, and then he went, ah, I'm gonna stand around and collect all the well. <laughs> Bam McGarrence, <laughs> filling up their lowriders with free health insurance and shooting up all the jobs. Alright, enough Loktars. Hopefully we'll find the last human we want. And lure him out with the... Oh god, it's an arrow! I think we got it. The AI is switching targets, but not quickly enough. The elf just too weak without any kind of tank behind him. Now we should be able to play this fairly smart. We've got two... I wanted it. Oh, I need another farm. Okay, hold on. I can get a farm. Look how long it takes to deliver... Like money, it's pretty cool, huh? Like I, I, I actually like it. Let's get that farm up, and I think even use the second peon to go ahead and put up another barracks. There we go. See, with all the enemy humans wiped out, there was nothing to withstand our uh, orcish might, pops. I don't know if what I have right here is orcish might. It feels kind of weak. I could probably turn this down a bit. Right about there is the line where it gets too loud. Okay. Or maybe like their voices never get quieter or any better at all. But that's fine. It's Warcraft 2. We're willing to accept that there will be a few problems. The nearly finished. I love the way these things look in snow. I love the fact that the weather changed how your buildings looked. 
It was a small thing, but it really made the world feel more real to me. And you'll notice that every time a peasant returns with lumber or gold, it will be displayed up here, and it comes in hundreds instead of tens or other stuff like it did in StarCraft or WarCraft 3 or things like that. You end up working with bigger numbers, and you'll notice a third resource here that we don't normally deal with, oil. That'll come into play on missions where we have... I don't know. Ships, probably. I remember naval warfare being a thing, and especially in air warfare as well. Because if used properly, there was a very strong It was super strong. Mages, too. I, if I remember correctly, everything in this game is a mirror to each other. Like, they should have 60. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to have just about the same stats as a human footman. It's the casters in this game that are slightly different. And it's the effects, the buildings, the the racial upgrades that really start to define them, rather than the classes themselves. It's kind of interesting, something I always liked. Let's get another peon out. He's our only way that we're going to be able to finance this ridiculousness. Only 8,000 gold left. Believe it or not, in the last map, I mined out the main one, and I don't know how I did that. Probably because I built so many peasants. I won't make that mistake anymore. Oh, man. I used to see, and if anyone's going to see it, that... This icon, oh shizzles, this icon right here, it looks to me like that's his mouth, okay? What is his tusk? I always thought it was his mouth, and he was like looking at you sideways, kind of like sneakily, and he had a weird reptilian mouth thing going on. I was like, oh, oh, it's so disturbing. What are my objectives? I think it was just four farms in a barracks, okay. I'm stalling for time because this game is like, ah, you've, it takes less time to murder an entire squadron of Alliance characters than it does to build a single... Well, it's just a few farms. But you know what I'm saying. There's got to be some kind of accountability here. Oh, there's not enough gold. And soon there won't be enough lumber. I've got to lumber, too. Oh, no. I've got to lumber. Let's produce another peon. You're asking yourselves, when will there ever be time to build a farm? There won't be. Look at what an economy in this game consists of. Let's see how fast feels, because there are speeds, and we can make the game speed all the way up to fast, but let's see how that... Ready to work. That's a little bit better, actually, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, uh... I'm feeling that. Maybe a little slower, but that is definitely a step up. Literally, and just in every way. Okay. Okay, that one probably should be fine. Yes, I like this move speed. This build speed feels better. Woo! Another peon for the work line. But sir, we need farms. Shut your whole mouth. We've only used eight. Also, God, the food isn't displayed on the main screen either. So I have to come over to the farms and be like, Hmm, let me ask the pig farmer how much more room we have in our army today. And he's like, Oh yeah, we just can't fit it. Sorry. It's not looking good. Your, your dreams of expansion and conquest are going to be just mired in the red tape that is the raising of pigs. Lord Duke. Alright, one of these lumber guys is gonna build the next farm. Pressed into hard labor. Oh, you lazy bugger, come on. Level one is going so slowly. Man, that guy has real dedication to his job. He's just been hacking. And also, I miss the way that they just kind of break down into little stumps that you can walk over. I know it does that in Warcraft 3, but. In this, it's solid. When you see a tree line, you're like, oh, they're going to need sappers or workers to get through there. And that's probably it. Oh, I remember destructible rocks, too, were a thing. This game was so cool. I mean, yeah, it's clearly old, and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> like, never would this game ever be any kind. But it's just fun. It's reminiscent of a childhood I missed. And I can't wait to play through it and see how the orcs go. I might not read every single one of those intros, because, frankly... Ow. Alright, I finished. It should... There we go. Perfect. Save game. Under... F... T... H. For the horde. F... <laughs> for the horde. For the win. Victory. Rank sl <gasps> Slave! Excuse me. I had several grunts under my control. And I was doing just fine. Ya highness. I don't like you much either. It's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and go with the next.